so before I start fitting a new door skid on this I need to replace the panel at the bottom here and here's the replacement panel you can buy for mini spares or wherever um, and when you start doing this I'm going to drop it into place crimp it on one end or clamp it with something like mole grips and then scribe all the way around where you want to be cutting that's the obvious bit once you've cut it out uh, what you want to do is start tacking it little spots all the way around this is the door I've just completed just now uh, so you can see here where I've cut it, welded it along here and I weld from the inside rather than the outside some people prefer to weld on the outside uh, full seam weld left to right for strength I've done it and then on the corners here you need to make sure you've got a good 45 degree angle on there because if it's protruding when you put the skin on you get a, a bulge up here in the skin and then the bottom edge is what you want to hammer down almost or panel be in shape because on the pattern parts they're not quite shaped quite right uh, once you've done that though you're ready to fit the skin but uh, I want to finish off the other door and then I will move on to fitting the skin Right, so this is the frame now cut out. And you can see here I've just cut dead on the radius all the way around each corner. And then this is the plate. And as I fit it, you fits bob on as I want it to. Nice and easy. If there is a few gaps, it's not too bad because if you're good with the welder, you can fill the puddle for those gaps in. Um, and cutting these radiuses out, the best way to get to them is from underneath the lip rather than trying to go in at this angle. Go underneath, run it round carefully, and it'll come off. Right, so on this replacement panel, it's not quite right, but that's what you get with these replacement pattern panels. It's overlapping just a tad here. So before I start flat pan it down with a grinder, I just want to test the skin to make sure it's going to line up and fit. That hooked over. Mm -hmm. So it's mostly in place but this little lip's just dragging a little bit but I might leave it in there, it doesn't seem to affect it enough to stop it and it seems to centre the screen quite well, the scroll for the door lines up pretty good and that's pretty much all I really need it to be doing. And you'll see how all I've done is just put little spot tacks every four or five inches just to get it in place to get an idea of where I want it. Right, so now I've got to do this lip here after I've welded it in. Uh, basically it points upwards and now I'm going to panel beat it down so it matches the radius of the rest of the skin so when you fit it it's fine. Um, if it's too far down it's not a problem because you can push it back but if it's too far up when you go to put the skin on it'll deform it. So that's the next job to do. Right, so now we've put a bit of primer down, we'll just drop some seam sealer on the inside because once the skin's on it's going to be awkward to get down there. So Daniel's going to uh, spread it with his finger. This is his special trade skill of spreading like butter.
Right, so now I'm working on for folding the lip over. I've already started to put a larger angle on it and I've started panel beating where the corners are to lock it in place after I've mold gripped it at the top. Now I've just got to continue bringing this all down all the way around evenly and then locking it and then the same on the sides. Right, now I've panel beaded the door together, the skin lip all the way around. I've got a MIG to do at the top of the frame and then you'll, on the door shut lines at the top there's a couple of MIGs that need putting down there. Uh, and once you put the skin on, one thing you want to keep an eye on is looking straight down the edge of the door here and try and get this as straight as possible because when it comes to meet your sill, if it's wavy, it's going to look well out. Um, if you do go too far with it, I use a block of wood to bring it back in again as a whole panel. Um, you might find a little imperfection at the bottom of the door when you come to beat it together and stuff that you can do about that. Um, but uh, that's all you need to do so far and I'll get it welded up and show what it looks like after. Right, so that's one door fully complete, one seam here, tack over the top here. There's another tack here, and another seam all the way up here. Uh, one more thing, remember, when you are dropping the skin in line, make sure this little drilled hole for the handle lines up with the original frame on there, and uh, it should be perfect. But that's it complete, that's how to replace a door skin and repair the bottom plate. And we'll catch you next video, guys.